Hello, my name is Chadomir Nestorovic and I am a professor at SA Business School in Singapore. Today we are going to talk about the business of Ramadan. Ramadan is the fourth pillar of Islam. It means that it is a compulsory observance for all Muslims worldwide, so in that case it is touching more than 1.6 billion people worldwide. The most spectacular element of the Ramadan, of course, is fasting uh, from dawn to sunset. But above fasting, Ramadan is first of all a month of prayer and the identification with the Quran. Ramadan is mentioned several times in the Quran and there are several reasons why this month is considered to be a holy month for Muslims. The first reason is that it is considered to be the month of revelation, that is the moment when the Quran has been descended to the Prophet Muhammad. So this is why it is celebrated worldwide by all Muslims. And the very night which is identified with the descendants of uh, the Quran to the Muhammad is called Laylatul Qadr and it is considered that the praying during this day and during this night is worth months of praying. So it is the blessed month for all Muslims and there are several consequences for this, among them fasting. The paradox is that uh, when we are looking at the consumption of goods during the month of Ramadan, especially if we are looking at the estimates coming from the agency criteria, it is showing that on the contrary, uh, from one month to the other, there is an increase of consumption of 67% during Ramadan. So it means that there is something wrong. The Muslim Council of Britain has issued a very nice infographic about uh, the key features of the Ramadan. And among them, we will identify, for instance, on one side fasting, on the other side charity, on the third side uh, the Aid, the celebration of the Aid, and above all praying. And uh, as an example concerning praying, we will look at the advertisement coming from Indonesia from the company called Tenaga National, which is the electricity company. On their campaign for Ramadan, they are showing people praying. However, the biggest business that we have is of course food. So even if during the day there is no consumption of food and drinks, during the night there is sometimes an overconsumption of it, and we have many examples for that. The food business during Ramadan is either uh, focusing on the homemade food, which is the traditional way how to prepare Ramadan, and we have an example of uh, an advertisement coming from Tunisia when they're showing the person in charge of the food in the house. The second one is uh, coming from fast food companies such as Burger King when they have specific deals and specific offers during Ramadan as in the case coming from Bahrain. And the third one which is a new tendency is to have the Ramadan nights organized by uh, restaurants or by hotels and they are also giving birth to companies which are specializing in assembling tents during Ramadan. Would it be in the desert or would it be in the courtyard of the hotels? The second business is leveraging on charity and almsgiving. It is a tradition to give the zakat al-fitr at the end of the Ramadan, so it can be done either in money or in kind. So this is why hypermarket chains are selling very big bags, either of rice or couscous or any other item, in order to be given to the needy. At the same time, companies such as uh, Pepsi-Cola or McDonald's are also launching special offers during Ramadan in order to share or in order to give to the needy. During the month of Ramadan, the shopping spree is a very important one. So in the past, we used to have the Ramadan uh, night markets, and they still exist today. But today, we have more and more shopping malls organizing the shopping spree. So would it be for the low-cost items, such as the hypermarkets or even the household appliances, or for the app market, for the luxury goods and we have examples coming from Dubai 
concerning the luxury goods which are sold during Ramadan. Or finally, we also have the example of Lexus selling special offers for Ramadan uh, in Kuwait. Since Ramadan is also a good opportunity that the whole family is gathering together and to share the iftar, that is breaking the fast, for a large number of Muslim families, they are also taking the opportunity to watch TV. And watching TV is also referring to the soap operas, which are proliferating in the last years. And uh, 10 years back in the season 2005, from up to 2007, the soap opera called Noor from Turkey was the blockbuster. So it means that we can uh, transfer one country to the other, from Turkey to the Arab lands, but also to Indonesia, with uh, the soap operas which are taking more and more importance. Ramadan is the month of spirituality and also of cleanliness. So cleaning the soul and cleaning the body is the essential element of Ramadan. The fact is that today business is taking more and more momentum and uh, sometimes the campaigns can be borderline. As an example, we'll take the case of Pizza Hut in Pakistan, where for the iftar, the main tag is to say, eat all you can. And it is clearly something which is opposed to the spirit of Ramadan. On the other side, there are also tendency to imitate what is happening in the West. So we have more and more decorations during Ramadan. So would it be in public areas, such as in the streets of Malaysia? Would it be in malls? or would it be in houses?